Adam. And I'm Ben. And we make monsters. And we make monsters. <laughs> This guy and this guy were the first two monsters ever. This guy back here is my favorite. His name is Booger. And this is my favorite monster. This is Blue Jean. And she has a pocket in the back of her so you can store things. Oh, gonna, a big candy core. I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> I do this because it's fun. My dad, he works for Real Relief, and they resettle refugees. A refugee is someone who leaves their country, usually to escape something dangerous or hard. When they leave their country, they don't get to bring all of their favorite things. Being a refugee means starting all over, learning a new language, making new friends, finding a new home. Imagine doing all of that without your favorite things around you. When refugees come, they come with nothing. So we thought we'd send a couple of like stuffed animals to them. So we posted that on Facebook and people wanted to buy them. And we came up with the idea for every time we sell a monster, we donate one. We would make twins for every monster. This guy we would sell and then this guy we would give to a person. So it kind of started from there. First, then he has to draw the monsters. Today, I'm basically sketching a guy that's based off another guy that my brother made. I get my ideas from like different TV shows I like to watch. So after I'm done drawing this, it'll go to my brother. He will cut the fabric and sew it. The monsters all are really cute. They're really nice to snuggle because they're really soft and everything. Ben and Sam also give cuddly monsters to kids who are sick. These snuggly monsters really comfort the kids through tough days. The kids who get them, they usually are going through a hard time or like have a disease or something or they're just refugees that had just came here with nothing. So when they get a monster, it's like they can just have their own little thing that's just for them. Now I'm cutting off the edges that weren't sewn, so then it's easier to get inside of the monster and stuff him. This is the monster inside out. When we unfold him, he's gonna look like this guy. This is the hardest part. And now I need to put eyes on him. Right here we have the eyes. I cut the little holes for the eyes. Right now I'm stuffing the monster. I know it's full when you can't push down the stuffing any farther. Right now I'm just sewing up the monster. I like this part of it because it's really easy. Ben and Sam know that a huggable monster can comfort someone going through a hard time. They're living out what the Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4. It says, He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. God has the power to comfort, and sometimes God lets you share that power too. So I heard you broke your leg. Me and Sam, we made this for you. Oh, thank you. I love it. Mm. How did you do it? I drew it and then Sam sewed it. Monsters and people, they're kind of one and the same because everybody's unique and every monster is unique. Every monster we make is totally unique from another. Getting monsters is like getting hope. Hope is always good. When we go to an organization called Realities for Children, they help kids that are like going through a hard time with their parents or something. So I tend to think like some of the kids are um, go up to it and they just start hugging it a whole lot. We've probably given away more than a thousand. Yeah, about one thousand. 
we actually went to give them to a place called World Relief and we went to their Atlanta office. We actually got to see a couple of refugees who had just been resettled there. I remember giving it to them and they were all super excited for it. They didn't know it was theirs because they had like never owned something for themselves. So that felt really good to see them smiling and see them super happy about it. It felt really good to see that. Yeah! Oh! <laughs>